Moving through biological membranes. Membranes define biological cells. The membrane has an uninterrupted history as ancient as life itself. Because of its structure, a cell membrane is innately permeable to hydrophobic molecules, depicted here as blue, which of course are not water soluble, but that's another topic. It is impermeable to hydrophilic molecules, depicted here as red. There are a number of ways across the membrane. Most involve proteins that are specific for specific cargoes. There are, for example, carriers which bind their cargo on one side of the membrane and release it on the other. The net movement of cargo will depend upon its relative concentrations on the two sides of the membrane. A second class of proteins are pores or channels. These are integral membrane proteins whose structure enables certain molecules, but not others, to pass through the membrane. Channel activity can often be regulated. The channel can be turned on and off. Again, the net movement of cargo will depend upon its relative concentration on the two sides of the membrane. Finally, there are pumps. These are integral membrane proteins that can move molecules in a defined direction across the membrane. Pump proteins are actively driven by coupling to thermodynamically favorable reactions, often the hydrolysis of ATP to form ADP and phosphate. So you might want to ask yourself, what determines the net movement of molecules in the case of carriers and channels? And what is required for a pump to work? And how is it different from a carrier or a channel?